And here are the starters for today's opener. Number one, Jamaica Sandy, owned by Kenneth and Richard Schrock, trained and driven by co-owner Rick Schrock. Number two, La Elena, owned by Bill Wright, Dirk Simpson, Donald Coleman, and Tom Pollard, trained by Dirk Simpson, and he is the driver. Number three, Absolute Charge. Michael Cox handles the driving chores for co-owner and trainer Diana Hendricks and co-owner Dennis Gardner of Olney. Number four, Lady Swiss, owned by Willie Jones of Jackson, Mississippi, Roshan Trigg, the trainer, Ray Gash in the bike. Number five, Alisa, owned by Renee Mom of Dyer, Indiana, trained by Mark Carpenter with Dean McGee in the bike. Number six, Sada Highsteppen, owned by Kay Willis of Salem, her husband, Nelson Willis, the trainer driver. Number seven, La Rosita, owned by Bruce and Dean Alexander of Wisconsin, owned also by Connie and Homer Hochstetler of Illinois, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. And number eight, No Funny Stuff, owned by Lynn and Barbara Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana, trained by Lynn Wilfong, his son Brett Wilfong is the driver. Track condition is good. The first race, first half of the Daily Double, just six minutes from the start. Here they come. Lady Swiss off stride. The rest are off and trotting. La Rosita and No Funny Stuff go for the lead. On the far outside, Jamaica Sandy comes out trotting in third. Sada Highsteppen is away fourth toward the center of the racetrack. Then La Elena, fifth on the inside of Elisa, trotting into the first turn. Absolute Charge is next to last, and Lady Swiss is the early trailer. La Rosita trots with the lead by a length and a half for Homer Hochstetler in the red, white, and gold colors. Jamaica Sandy is second by three, and then Sada High Steppen is third by three parts of a length, 30 seconds for the opening quarter. Moving on to the back stretch, No Funny Stuff is parked in fourth and has not seen the rail after the first three-eighths of a mile. Then La Elena, followed by Alisa, who's seven lengths off the lead, a gap of 10 more back to absolute charge and a long way back to Lady Swiss. It is La Rosita who leads it by a length and a half. No Funny Stuff is second by a head. Jamaica Sandy third by three. Then Sada High Steppen. Here comes Elisa moving up fourth on the outside. She's five lengths off the lead. They trotted by the half in 101. Past the draw gate, La Rosita leading it by less than a length. And No Funny Stuff has gone a very tough trip parked all the way, second by a half length. Jamaica Sandy has had a ground-saving trip in third. Two more lengths to Alisa, who will have to find more. She's fourth. Then La Elena, Sada High Steppen, Lady Swiss, and Absolute Charge. But still, La Rosita leads them past the three quarters by a length and a half, and she was at that mark at 133 and one. La Rosita by two, no funny stuff, has gone a big trip to this point. She's second coming off the far turn. Three more lengths to Elisa and third, Jamaica Sandy is struggling to keep up in fourth in La Elena. In the stretch, La Rosita chased by no funny stuff, but Hochstetler's just sitting in the race bike. He hasn't asked for much, and he's filling. He's opening up by three. No funny stuff will have to settle for second. La Rosita wins the opener on this rain delayed card by three. No funny stuff was second. Alisa was third. The time 204 flat. Then it was La Elena and Jamaica Sandy. Money start prior to today. Did that give you any concern before the first race? Well, she got awful sick for the first stake race, and we scratched her, and uh, we just took our time with her and turned her out and brought her back, and that one start needed the experience. Well, you're qualified now for the championship final, assuming the result is made official. Congratulations. Thank you, Kurt. That's the co-owner, Connie Hochstetler, folks. And we'll try to get a word with the winning driver in just a moment. Now moving into victory lane at the Illinois State Fair, owned by Bruce and Dean Alexander and by Connie and Homer Hochstetler of Wisconsin and Illinois, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler, La Rosita. Let's see if we can get a word with Homer Hochstetler. Homer, we had a rain delay. Did the track give you any concern in the first race? Uh, not really, no. The track's pretty good for everything considered. And how do you like the Phillies' chances now that she's qualified for the championship? How do you like her chances for the $50,000 prize next week? Well, I don't know. I've got to watch the rest of the races first. <laughs> well, we don't blame you for that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Homer Hochstetler, the winning trainer, driver, and co-owner.
While we're at it, let's also catch Bruce and Dean Alexander. Fellas, you got a Wisconsin address, but we know you've invested in Illinois harness racing. Why? This is where the money's at. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Well, you've got a fine filly there. What a way to break through for her first lifetime victory. Good luck in the championship. Thank you very much. That's Bruce and Dean Alexander of Wisconsin. We'll have the rundown in just a moment, and it is official, 7852, official for the first race. <laughs> 